All right, YouTube, in today's video, we've got some more rank play for you. But today, I'm going to be focusing on how to break opponent setups. And I thought, why not go to the best map for this, Fortress Control? This map is one of the most defense-sided map we've seen in CDO history, especially in Control. So, why not break it down and show you exactly what you need to do to get out of the blender? We've been uploading daily on the channel. You guys have been killing it down in the comments and in the views. Keep up the support, and we'll carry on with the uploads. So, try to push the A side, and I absolutely absolutely fry this guy off top of the van he's out of there he's sent right to the gulag and we're going to push through now waiting for my teammates with only 25 seconds left this is what you need to do you need to team up here and make sure you get through my teammate goes huge he gets a two-piece we have to take advantage of this and he goes absolutely huge when he manages to get the three-piece this is the time to capitalize this is what we've been waiting for while my teammates on the hill i'm going to push out with an assault rifle and i'm just going to basically try and spawn trap them if i can get one or two kills here all it will do is push them back even more and this will just allow our team to set up on the hill right now we've got two ticks for a so this is an amazing job what i'm gonna do is looking at my mini map there was nobody on the left side so once again i'm just gonna push through the right and see what we can do we've already broken the setup this is very important here once a setup has been broken you have to make sure you keep up with the aggression and that's something i really want to kind of get my point across here is to break a setup you only need one real wave of kills it's just one opportunity right there our teammate got a three piece so the main problem isn't actually breaking the setup sometimes it's because what you do after that so what you need to make sure you do is set up in power positions what i've seen in so many games in past call of duties and also this game is that when people get three kills or four kills they don't actually apply the pressure on that they just sit where they're sitting but the problem with that is that if you allow the other team to get back into the area they're just going to fry you if you've got the kills you need to make sure you push up and make sure you suffocate them in their spawn exactly what we're doing right now maybe a second too late on the trophy system but right here you can see we're on an offense and we're absolutely beaming them with 15 lives up to two absolutely destroying them on the offense and this is unlikely this is so uncommon but we managed to do it in the first round and this just sets the tempo for the rest of the map pair we know if we can get this offense win the rest of the map should be a piece of cake we should be able to take the defense and just like that there are only two players left you see the first guy here get some great shots on him and all i'm going to do is sit on the hill just a bit of advice for you here right here ideally if you see him you actually don't want to get the kill you want to make sure you get the tick first the reason why you want to get the tick first is because it guarantees you that extra tick when you're going into the defense round five and that's what you want especially on the this map getting straight into the action here no holding back we push a we got the smg back i wanted to play a bit more aggressive on this round on the defense exactly how i was talking about suffocating my opponents last round at the back of the spawn that's exactly what i don't want to happen to us i've noticed straight away that a lot of my teammates is using an assault rifle so i don't want to be that guy i don't want to be the guy that's playing back of the map and just letting the other team have the map control so straight away i got out of the smg and i'm applying the pressure you managed to get a really good start to the round there right there i feel like i should play behind the boxes you just allow some more cover play where i was there it's just not very good it's quite open and allows my teammate to get the camera on me and absolutely fry me right here you know don't know what i'm doing just keep changing my guns but this is it this is such a clean defense round we've not even given them more than one tick they've literally got one tick and we managed to get six so the way things are standing this is looking very very good if it goes to that round five we should have the defense and that was a perfect defense one of the best defenses i've played all year long that round i feel like it lasted like less than a minute really good play from the team now this is where we turn up one of the best round of controls i've ever had individually do we win do we close the game 3-0 we're about to find out starting off we push through here with the Vazne. we managed to take out one but we're not done this is what i mean by applying pressure this is how you break setups we've started oh my god we get another one and right here we're just causing such a disruption in the enemy team setup and this is exactly what you need to do if you're playing as an smg player you have to play with aggression you have to take out their key players right there let's just say i died right and the opponent set up in the base they would have head glitches they would have trophies everywhere but instead look what's happened look how distracted they are and look how disrupted their setup is i'm going on an absolute tear right now and all i need my teammates to do is start to capture the a point it's easy enough but let's see if they can do it you know how solo keys like we go through and we absolutely fry another Another one we take out the second one and this is disgusting right now are we gonna get the third of course we are look at the momentum i mean right here i could get an a but you know the way i'm shooting i'm feeling myself i'm just gonna carry on see if i can keep being a distraction and we get another one but without any ammo what do we do we get a knife oh my god we go for the second and we manage to get the three piece we're on an absolute tear but we're not done yeah that's right one more moving like eu shots you once again going through we managed to get the knife off i mean we're on an absolute tear now i don't even remember where the hill is i literally feel like a, oh my god look my play spinning everywhere can we get up no I'm, I'm actually thankful he killed me there i don't think i don't think i could upload that on youtube if i got that kill that would have been a bit too much but right there i mean i know i could have maybe helped my team a bit more on the objective but 
that's just a perfect example where they need to capitalize and really take advantage of the objective there. I'm literally going around. I got an 11 kill streak there, and we still didn't manage to get the objective. So I think there is a fine balance between kills and objective, but I really feel like I'm doing everything right now. That one was so unfortunate. I feel like if I had one or two more bullets, that's an easy three piece. But my team does manage to help me on the hill with 15 seconds left. Again, I'm just focusing on breaking setups there. So what I was planning on doing is kind of going through, jumping around, and just taking out my opponents. But again, this the way I'm playing right now, it really relies on my teammates doing their job. And unfortunately, I don't feel like they wanted to play objective, which is all right. That's what you're going to get in the solo queue. But I feel like because they weren't really bringing value in the kills, I feel like objective would have been the least they could have bought. But that's all right. 2-1. We should have won that. We should have closed the game out, but that's all right. Let's take it to the next round. I mean, I beg. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I've definitely got player of the game that round. You take out this guy. I mean, this was a clean, clean clip, man. I was actually really disappointed that we didn't manage to win this here. But this is a good example right here. Like, I maybe could have just got on the hill, maybe got the stack off, but... To be honest, I don't think I played that perfectly. I just, I mean, I was really feeling myself. I still think we could have won the way I was frying. I think the better play there probably would have been to stand on the hill. But, I mean, I still fried. So, we'll take it how it is. I'm sure the comments will let me know how much of a kill whore I am and how I should be playing objective. You know, I've got enough of those comments. So, keep them through. Let, keep telling me. Keep reminding me how I'm terrible at the game. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? You definitely need to remember me. That guy, yo, he got his revenge, man. He wasn't happy about that little 10 streak earlier on. 2-1, and this is not the start we want. What exactly the, what this video is about is what they've just done. They've played aggressive, and they've taken us out of our initial setup. But not to worry. I've come in clutch. I've got the three-piece, and oh my god, I've got the four-piece. I'm doing everything I can to make it up to the team. And look what I'm doing. We push through again. We're going to make him one shot. I mean, this is just a clinic right now. An absolute brilliant performance on the map. We're going to push through here just to try and distract them, just to break their setup once again. My main objective here is literally just get one or two kills, because that will just make their initial push so much harder if they're playing as a four team if they're going to go all together it might be quite difficult for us to kind of hold them off but if they're going to get killed one two at a time it's going to be very very difficult right here my opponent does get on b and for me b is a priority i have to save b the reason why i shoot left and back off there is just to kind of shoulder and see where they're coming from and now i'm going to come from a different angle my teammates on the hill so i have a good idea where the enemy is going to be and we managed to clear that off chuck a grenade over let's see if i escape there's some nice little movement diving away i mean this is a chaotic life i mean to be honest this is a stressful life right here okay he's on the left let's see how we play this we do get two down so they do have a lot of time here there's a couple of advantages and disadvantages in this situation. I think overall, we definitely do have the advantage right now. I mean, oh, that was a really bad sell. I had to get that kill there. But right now, all we have to do is worry about B. This could go either way. If they get four down, though, this could be very, very bad. But let's just take a look at our team setup for a second. So we have the guy in green, the green arrow right now, watching the left lane. And we have my two of my players, two of my other teammates, it's kind of sitting at the back stairs. So again, what I'm going to do is try to break the opponent's setup. Now, setups for me doesn't necessarily mean, you know, when they're actually physically set up. It could also mean like breaking their, well, just their break, to be honest. So right here, although we're on the defense and we're technically the ones setting up, I'm just trying to break their push. I'm just trying to break their offense play and just see if I could be a distraction. Because for me, that's the most valuable thing to do right now. If I can take out one or two in the process, that will be amazing. And that will really hold them down. So we managed to get another one. Some good shots onto him. And I'm just going to push out and play aggressive one more time. Right there, I did get caught in the middle of the map. And my teammate did over challenge there. So this is where things can get scary. I feel like if, you know, it's only one or two players kind of playing aggressive, you can kind of get away with it. But as soon as both of those players die, you leave your teammates very, very vulnerable. I think it's very important to kind of look at your teammates because you can't always play this role. Sometimes you might, if your teammates are playing this role, you may have to take a step backwards and just kind of watch and cut lanes. But right now, we're doing a really good job. It's 9 to 8. With only 35 seconds left, there's not really a need for me to push it out here. I mean, I can push it out, but again, I'm looking at the minimap and I'm seeing my team are playing quite aggressive. So I've kind of tailored my approach here and I've kind of worked around it. As I can see, they're playing aggressive. I'm letting them do that and I'm playing my own game now. I'm just sitting on the hill and making sure I keep it safe. Because the worst case scenario for me now is if I push up, maybe get a kill or two, but the rest of the team dies, that's going to be on me. And I'm going to be really annoyed if we lose a round. So right now we're 2-1 up, only five seconds left. This should be a win, a very, very clean performance. I mean, personally, one of my best rounds of controls ever in that third round. So we take the win. Just had that drop, 36 kills. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one.